Okay, so today I had my appointment with the endocrinologist. Um, he seemed like a nice enough guy. And he did end up asking me about my name and pronouns. I understand, you know, why they would do that. I guess that's just standard practice because, you know, you want to be respectful and all that. But frankly, I don't like it when people ask for my pronouns because my pronouns should be obvious. And he actually asked me if Jennifer was my legal name. Um, yeah, it's on my medical stuff. <clears throat> and as far as I know, that's... They have to, your your legal name is what goes on your medical stuff. Anyway, so um, my estrogen levels are not where they should be. They're, they're too low, and I've been taking um, six milligrams of estrogen orally, which he was saying is the upper limit for oral estrogen, which is interesting because the doctor I was seeing previously at one point had me on eight milligrams of estrogen, but... So I don't know. So we discussed alternatives. Uh, the options presented were um, patches and um, injectables. And I ended up opting for injectables because um, I do have, I do miss the occasional dose of estrogen because I do have some difficulties taking, you know, daily medication. Not as bad as it used to be, but I still have some issues. And the uh, injectables are only done once a week. Whereas the patches, you have to swap, change those twice a week. Um, I'm not looking forward to um, shooting myself up with needles, but still, I only have to do it once a week. Um... So the pharmacy did not have the estrogen in stock. They had to order that. And so I was able to get the uh, syringes and one set of needles. And then they had to order the uh, estrogen and the second set of needles. The reason for the two sets of needles is um, that uh, the bigger needle is going to be for filling the syringe and then the smaller needle for injecting. So on Tuesday, I'm going to go back to back to the pharmacy and pick up the estrogen. And then I was to, I was told that I can just go into the other building where the they've got some medical offices and I can go there and have somebody show me how to how to shoot myself up. So um, so yeah, I'm going to do that so I can learn how to do it. And then hopefully then the week after I will be able to do that myself. And I'm glad that this is going to be a Tuesday because that's when I take out the garbage. So that'll be nice to have my estrogen taking day pinned to something that I already do that... I'm really good about doing. So that way I can go, oh, it's garbage day. Time to, you know, take my estrogen. Um, and I'm really hoping that this gets my estrogen levels up to where they need to be. And I'm really hoping I get some more breast growth. Like, pray for the boobies. Yeah, because I, my, my breasts aren't big enough. And depending on what I get off the um, injectable estrogen, that'll determine a do I if I need if I'm gonna get breast implants at all, and b how big. Because if I wind up getting breast implants, you know I might need a smaller implant. Um, one thing I'm kind of I'm not entirely looking forward to. Is is the the little bit of hormone fluctuation since, you know, the estrogen levels are gonna go down, and then when you take your next dose, they're gonna go up. Hopefully, that won't be too bad. But yeah, it'll be it'll be nice to see if it actually brings my estrogen where it should be. And in three months, I'm gonna get my uh, hormone levels checked. 
So that will be good. And we'll see where we're at. And hopefully, hopefully everything will be good. And I'm just, I'm hoping that getting my estrogen levels up higher will also improve my mood. Because, you know, my diet's been kind of shit. And part of that is because of my mood. You know, I I have this long-standing habit of self-medicating with junk food. So, so yeah, if I'm, if I'm, if I'm in a less shitty mood, maybe I'll be less likely to want to, you know, eat junk food. That'll be nice. So, and I'm hoping that'll help me lose weight because I, I need to lose a little more weight before, uh, I can get uh, facial feminization surgery. Now, thankfully my weight doesn't have to be as low as it, as it was for, the uh, sex reassignment surgery, but still, um, I'd rather have my weight, you know, lower than what's required just to be on the safe side because, you know, being obese is not a good thing and presumably puts you at additional risks for surgery. So if I can bring myself lower than they require just to have a margin of safety, that would be spectacular. So, so yeah, um, trying to think of what else, anything, anything else significant. Yeah. The, um, the endocrinologist, he put in a referral for mental health. So they'll be calling me to set up an appointment because here in Kaiser, with Kaiser Southern California, I do need psych approval for um for the uh, facial feminization surgery and the breast implants. <clears throat> Which is a little bit silly considering that, you know, I'm post op, but no big deal and I need to go see uh, the psychiatrist anyway about my um to make sure I get a refill on my my Valium and my antidepressants and everything. So and I also want to see what what options they have for therapists. Um, I probably will not be able to see a therapist every week like I was. But if I can see somebody even just once a month, that would be pretty good. So, so yeah, things are moving right along, and I'm just super excited to get you know get back get up another get on an appropriate estrogen regimen to get my levels up where they need to be because my estrogen has been far too low for far too long and it'll be nice to get my levels up to where they need to be and hopefully get some more breast growth and improve an improvement in my mood and improvement in my face because I've been kind of unhappy about my face lately I mean I'm I'm gonna get facial feminization surgery anyway but Still, if I can get a little improvement in my face from the estrogen, that would be that would be awesome. Oh, oh yeah, a couple of things I I I just remembered. the The endocrinologist mentioned um, he asked if I wanted a tracheal shave, which I said no because I don't have that. I don't have an issue with an Adam's apple. He also asked me if I wanted to go see like the uh, speech therapist, which that that seemed a little weird to me because my voice is good. Like, no fooling. I don't know why, why he asked me about the speech therapist. My voice is good. So I don't know if it's just one of those where he's just like, oh, here's a service for trannies. I'll mention it. Or, or did he genuinely think that my, that I sounded like a dude? Because I don't. My voice is darn good and I don't need to see anybody about my voice. I mean, yeah, there's probably something I can do to make my voice better than it is, but it's already good enough. So (laughs) there's really no point in wasting my time trying to make my voice sound better when it's fine. So yeah. So yeah, um yeah, I guess I guess that'll do it. 
that's my little update on my situation with my hormones and um yeah once once I I um get my first <clears throat> hit of estrogen and everything I will I will I will make another video you know just kind of letting everybody know what's going on and once I get around to do to injecting myself I'll see about making a video of my first time trying to inject myself just to see how that goes. And then maybe later, once I've done it a number of times, I might go ahead and make a video of a more like, you know, I, I don't know if I want to say instructional nature, but more one that really is more of like, let me explain the process as opposed to, uh, you know, as opposed to like the first time where it's more like, let's see what happens, you know? So yeah, uh, yeah again, Super excited that I'm going to hopefully get my estrogen sorted out because uh, low estrogen sucks. Yeah, so it'll be nice to get my estrogen bumped up to where it needs to be. Woohoo! And yeah, that'll do it and that'll do it. So yeah, and all my social media bullshit is in down below in the video description and um, the thing that I really pay the most attention to is, um, Twitter, Twitter. And then I also post stuff on Instagram pretty regularly. Um, the, honestly, the rest, I really don't use at much at all. So, so if you go there, there ain't much there. And please, please, if you can, um, support me on Patreon. I just started posting videos on there and anything you can kick down to help that would be super awesome and I would greatly appreciate it so I will see everyone later